Hey you guys, welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. I have a fun project for you today. We're going to make this cute sitting witch with her broom. Even with the wart on her nose and on her chin, I'd say she's still cute. Let's get started. We're going to start with the shoe. So here's my pattern, which you will find in a link below uh, this video. It's in the description below this video. There's a link for the shoe and for the hat. Uh, you're going to print out the pattern and cut it, cut it out. Uh, you're going to trace it onto a piece of felt. Now I am using uh, gray felt. This is charcoal gray. So what I did was I <clears throat> doubled my fabric, laid the pattern down, and trace around, which I've already done. And now I'm going to cut out Okay, so I've cut out my pattern. Now you're going to cut out a right and a left foot. So I cut my pattern out and now I'm going to turn it around because I don't want, I traced it with a black marker and I don't want that to show. So I'm going to turn it around and now I am going to run a stitch a blanket stitch around the entire edge of the shoe except for the top obviously because that's where we're going to stuff it so this is how it's going to look so i just did a blanket stitch around and then i stuffed it so my shoes are done and this is what they look like all right now we're going to move on to the legs so we're going to need two, I'm using chopsticks. You can use, <clears throat> you can use dowels. I'm using chopsticks because they're thin enough and um, this is what I had on hand. Uh, I am going to cut it to six inches. So with my ruler, I'm just going to mark the six inch mark. And I'm gonna take my miter shears and I'm going to move the bar to a 45 degree angle because I want it to be a, a sharp point because that is going to stick into the styrofoam. So I'm going to just cut the chopstick at six inches. These I got on Amazon. The link for this tool is in the description below this video. Uh, it's called a miter shear. It's a great little tool for cutting uh, thin pieces of wood like this. Next, you're going to make the stockings. So I took these little heads that I got from uh, Dollar Tree and I am just going to cut the toe off. And I'm going to cut the heel off, the band. Okay, now I have this piece here and I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'm going to turn it right sides together. And I'm going to run a seam up the side. Now, you don't have to sew it with your sewing machine. You can just glue it. That works also. Um, in fact, you know what? I think that's what we'll do. We'll just glue it because I think it's just easier that way. So let's take some hot glue. And turn it over. And 
and turn it right side out. Okay, and there's our little And now we're just going to put them over the dowel. One on one. Oh, sorry. And one on the other. Okay, so now this is the part that's going to get inserted into the shoe. So what I want to do is I just want to close that off. So we're just going to take some glue around the edge. And I'm just going to make a little closure like that. For the body, I'm using a <clears throat> five inch styrofoam egg. And with my styrofoam cutter, I am going to just trim off a little bit on the bottom because I want the, it's gonna be a sitting witch. So her bottom has to obviously be flat. So I'm just gonna make a nice cut. Okay, and this way she can sit. Um, I have to even that out. Okay, so it's nice and even so that she can sit. Um, then I'm going to turn that off. And now I am going to take a sock. Now this is just a leftover piece of sock that I had from another project. Uh, it's the toe of the sock. And I am just going to cover the bottom of the egg with the sock. Okay, like that. And now we're just going to put a little bit of glue around so that it stays in place. Okay. So now I'm going to take my awl and I am going to make holes in the side. So I'm going to put my leg where I want it and just make an indentation there. And with my awl, I'm going to make a hole. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to even it out. And I want the hole to be right there. So I'm gonna make an indentation. And then I am going to make a hole with my center punch. Okay, now I'm going to put glue in that hole. I'm going to stick the leg right in that hole like that. Okay, and I'm going to do
for the skirt, I'm using this glitter tool. Um, it has a spider web design on it and it's glittery. So I thought this was really cute to use as the skirt for our witch. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna take a, a piece of tool and you're gonna cut um, a, a, a swatch out. It's gonna be 59 inches long by 15 and three quarter inches wide. So that's what this is. Then you're going to fold it in half lengthwise and then fold it in half this way. Okay, so you're gonna create a double flounce. Okay, now with some um, thread, you're going to just make a stitch along the top here. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna double your thread so that when you put the thread in, so the thread doesn't come through the hole, you're going to go through the double part and make a loop and then this way it doesn't come out okay and now we're just going to make a stitch going all across the top you want to make sure you have all your layers of the tool okay so holding all that in place we're just going to make a stitch across the top. After you've sewn it, you're just going to pull it now and make the skirt. So you're just gonna pull all this closed and we're gonna make the skirt. little bit because I wanted to lay I want top of the top of the egg to show so we are going to just stretch it out so that we can get that effect okay And now with a little bit of glue, we're going to close this end. So let's do that. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put a little shot of glue there and close that up. Okay, just like that. Okay, so there's our skirt. And now we are going to put it on and we're going to glue it. So make sure the back is facing the back. And we're just gonna glue that onto the body. Now you're gonna take a 12-inch uh, piece of wire and we are going to uh, put it in the center of the egg. So with my awl, I'm just gonna poke a hole right in the center. And we're gonna put the wire right in there. And this is gonna act as the base for the head 
so that the head will, will ha has something to rest on. So we're gonna glue that on there. Okay, and then we're just gonna make a little loop and the head will rest on this loop. Okay, just like that. Okay, so this is what it will look like. For her sweater, I am using an old sweater of mine. Uh, this is an Angora um, fuzzy fabric. Um, I wanted something that was glittery, that would match the skirt. Um, so this is an old sweater that I don't wear anymore. Um, so I cut it. I, this is the sleeve that I cut. And so for her sweater, I cut a piece that's seven inches long. Okay. And we're just going to put it over her body. And we're going to make a little collar. So we're going to roll it and make a little collar. Okay, like that. So I am just gonna put a little bit of blue around here so that it stays in place. Okay. Now for the sleeve, I'm using the same sweater and I cut a piece that is five inches long. And now I am going to cut that in half. So I get two sleeves out of it. Okay, and I am just gonna glue these two edges together because to sew that would be impossible. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, run it along the edge here. And glue it closed. So that is the right sides of the sweater that are together. So right sides facing each other. And then let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna turn it right side out. So same thing, this is the right side of the, of the sweater. So I'm gonna turn it around. And I'm gonna put some glue on the right side. Fold it over and glue it closed. So before we turn the, the uh, sleeves right side out, I wanna close up one end. So I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm going to come in and I wanna go through, I doubled it up and I wanna go through and create a knot so that the thread won't just go right through the fabric. So you're just gonna go up and around the entire edge of this, this sleeve, the top, this is the top part of the sleeve. Okay, and we're just gonna pull it closed and you're going to tie it off. So just run a stitch there and let's tie it off. And cut it okay and now we're ready to fold it right side out so we have a nice top of the sleeve that we can put onto our sweater okay so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side
So for the hands, I am going to use a two inch styrofoam egg and I'm going to cut it in half with my styrofoam cutter. off and I went ahead and I cut two circles two three inch circles out of lycra and I am going to cover the egg now the smaller part of the egg is going to be the tip of the hand so we are going to put it on that way so I'm just going to run a stitch around the edge and then pull it closed So I just put the egg inside there and I'm pulling it closed. And now I'm just going to knot that off. And this part will go in the sleeve so you won't see this. Okay, cut this string. Okay, so this part goes in the sleeve and that's the hand. Okay, so I am going to find the seam because the seam is going to go against the body and I am going to glue that like that into the sleeve. So taking the under part, I'm going to put glue on there and I'm going to put it against the seam like that. And then just give it a little bit of glue there so that it stays in place. And there's your hand and your sleeve. Okay, and now we are going to put that So we're going to lift the collar a little bit and we're going to put that right there. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on there. Lift the collar and that's where we're going to place it right there. Okay. For the face, I'm using a four inch styrofoam egg uh, and a, a two inch styrofoam egg. Uh, I already cut the two inch egg in half. That is going to be her, her nose. Uh, and I only need half of this egg for the face. So again, with my styrofoam cutter, I'm only going to cut half. We're ready for the face. So I'm gonna start out with a, a six inch circle of lycra for the face. And then for the nose, uh, this is a two and a half inch circle in lycra. And we're going to use the half a egg that I, um, that I cut. And um, I am going to give her a wart on her chin. So I am using a pin like this. And I will leave a link to this um, pin 
It's uh, from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. So we're going to take the pin and we're going to put it right at our chin. So the face is going to be with the narrow side down because you want her chin to be pointy like a witch's chin. So I'm going to put the pin right through here. I'm going to put that pin in first. And then we're going to cut that off in the back because we don't want to get hurt. So I'm just going to cut that piece off. And then we're going to take um, the uh, lycra and we're going to run a stitch around the outer edge. Okay, now we're going to open it up. I'm going to place it over the egg. it up in the back like that so we're going to take this some thread again and we're going to do the same thing with the nose now for the nose I also want a wart on her nose so I have a little pin and this link will also be in the description below this video. Again, I'm going to cut that piece off. And same thing, we're going to stitch around So now I am going to put the nose on, but I'm not going to attach it yet. I just want to know where I'm going to put it because I want to put the eyes on first. And if I attach the nose, um, it's going to be difficult to put the eyes on. So I want the nose to go right there. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a mark here so I know where my nose is going. Okay, so I'll know not to go near there. Now for the eyes, I am using this template. Now this is from Italy. Uh, I will leave the link um, to where you could purchase this, but um, it is from Italy and um, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it to purchase it. I bought it when I was in Italy, but you can buy it online, uh, but I think that you're just gonna have to pay the shipping from Italy. So it might not be worth it uh, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but this is what I'm using. So I am going to take um, a Micron pen and we're going to trace the eye. So I'm gonna pick which eye I want. I like, I like this eye. And I'm gonna be mindful that my nose is on my marks there. So I am going to put the eyes here and I'm just going to trace the eye. Okay, there's my eye. And I am going to fill it in with this Prismacolor black marker. This is double-sided. There's a pointy end and a, and a wide end. So I'm just going to color in the eye. Okay, so my eye is all colored in and now I'm going to take a, a thinner point and I'm going to make some eyelashes. I'm 
me take a little blush and I'm going to give her a little rosy cheeks. Okay, now I'm ready to glue her nose on. So I'm gonna put her nose right there. And now I'm going to make some eyebrows. And I'm going to make a mouth. Okay, and now with this, uh, this is called accent liner. It's white accent liner. Uh, we are going to make the white in her eyes. So I'm gonna take a little dabber here and I'm just gonna make a white dot on her eyes. Uh, and I'm also going to make some dots on her cheeks. I always like to do that. Just gives it a little pop. Okay, there's her face. For the hair, I'm gonna be using this thing here. Um, this is 12 inches long. Um, and I'm sorry, but I don't remember where I got it and I don't remember what the name of it is, so I can't even look it up. Um, but it, it is made for making doll hair. Um, but you can just get a piece of cardboard and cut it 12 inches and you're gonna get some yarn and you're just gonna wrap it around. And I'm gonna wrap it around maybe 30 times. So starting with, and I'm using gray yarn. And we're just going to tie it off in the center.
So we're going to take another piece of yarn, smaller piece of yarn, and just tie the center. Okay, then we're just going to pull it off. And we're going to cut the ends. So there's our hair. Now we're going to attach the head to the body. So I'm going to use two toothpicks. like that and we're going to stick it into the body okay and like that and now we're going to get some glue and we're going to glue the back of the head onto the wire let that dry. Then we're going to take our hair and we're going to glue it to the top of her head. So For the hat, I am using crushed velvet. Now, you can use felt uh, or you can use any kind of material. I am using crushed velvet. Now, being that the material is not strong enough, I am also using fusible interfacing and it's in black. And I iron this on to one of my pieces so that it will be a little bit stiff. So I ironed it onto the hat and also to the brim. Now this is the pattern. This is the top of the hat and you're going to cut one front, one back. So I laid my pieces together, right sides together, and I drew the pattern on with white um, marker, uh, I'm sorry, white pencil, and I drew the pattern on. So that's the, the hat, okay? And then for the brim, again, you're going to have one top, one bottom. So again, I put right sides together, my fusible interfacing on one of the sides, and I drew the pattern onto the black, and I cut the center hole. So now I'm going to bring it to my sewing machine, and I am only going to sew around the brim. The, the, uh, the outer edge. I am not going to sew the middle because that's how I'm going to turn it right side out. Um, and then the same with this. I'm going to sew all around the outer edge and I'm going to leave this part open. Okay, so let me go do that. So I sewed my pieces. This is the top of the hat and this is the brim. So I sewed them and I turned them right side out. And then with the hat, I went ahead and I ran a stitch, a top stitch, around the perimeter of the hat just to give it more of a body so that it stands up. All right, now we're going to just stuff the hat. So I'm going to take my stuffing fork so that I can get into this little curl here. Um, so I'm just going to put some stuffing in there, some polyfill. Okay, 
I am going to use my stuffing fork. I'm just going to get right up in there into the curve. Now I am going to glue this center closed. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue around the center and we're going to close that up. And now we're going to glue the top right onto the center there. Now I'm going to put a ribbon around the hat. So to hide all that glue, you want to just situate your ribbon around the hat. Like so. So I'm just going to glue it right there, just like that and then we'll make a bow. Okay, and now we're going to put it on the doll. Okay, now we're going to glue it to her head. So I'm going to take glue and I'm going to go around the middle. And we're going to glue that right to her head. Now we're going to give her some eyeglasses. So I made this little contraption so I can make eyeglasses. I just took two rolls, the inside of rolls of paper, and I attached it to this piece of plastic. And that is my form to make my eyeglasses. And I just take this wire that you get from Dollar Tree and I Cut maybe 16 inches. So let's cut 16 inches, which is about right there. And you just go leaving a tail. You want to go around one side. and up, then make a bend and come down and down and go around and come up again.
and then I made that I made this too wide this should be a little bit narrower okay so now you're gonna go up and around okay and now we're gonna make a little curly thing here Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to cut a little bit off. And we're going to make a little curly thing on this end. And that's our eyeglasses. So now we're just going to glue them to her face. And there's her eyeglasses. Now we're going to make her broom. I am using a twig. You can use a dowel if you like, but I'm using a twig, a real twig. And I cut, uh, I'm using a glitter tool. And I cut five pieces of each color, 10 inches long. So I'm going to start by just grabbing it and folding it in the center. And I'm going to stagger it. So that's my one color. And I'm just going to stagger the colors. Grab it in the center. Fold it in half. Take your twig, put it right in the center, and just fold that all in. Okay, then I'm going to use some thread and we're going to tie that. real tight. And now we're going to go back and we're going to cut those loops. So with the scissor, I'm just going to And now we're just going to give it a little trim just to clean it up. So that it's all even. Okay, and the same thing with the bottom. I just want to make it all even on the bottom. So I'm going to cut those little pieces off. Okay, just fluff it out. And now we're going to put some ribbon around it. And now we're going to make a bow.
and I'm going to glue it on. She is done. Look at the little witch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!